how I test everything before I walk away. Is it on? Is that on? Is that working? <sighs> okay. So I'm going to order yearling halter for him because he's already outgrown the full halter. Okay. Um, I don't know if you, I don't know if it would make a difference if I ordered more than one at a time, but if, if it was something you wanted, I'm going to order a leather one. Okay. Um, and I think, I think they were $31 when I, the ones I found, but I'm going to keep looking for, because the, the one that I found is the one I actually used when Ritz and they, they were all babies. So I, I know it's quality, it's, it's cheap, but not terrible. Yeah. So it's like, I don't buy high-end anything for them when they're still growing. Right. Right? And then, well, I used to dress my, my first son in all, you know, fancy Air Jordans and all that kind of stuff. And people would be like, why are you spending... It matters to me until it matters. Right, do you want me to just in case? Yeah. I usually find like these pants, I wear the same pants all the time, it's not the same pants. Yeah, they're airy. Huh. Ordered, like every once in a while, I'll order like a new pair of something, and then if I like them, then I order five of them. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm definitely not the. Or, oh, I, oh, I like this cut, and I like this. Like no, I'm like if I like that cut, boom, that's it. <laughs> Gonna be a compromising hole. She is gonna be so pretty, even if she stays that color. But I think she is gorgeous. What a good girl! Even with a little bit of drag and, and resistance there, she handled that really well. Oh, scratch me, I love you. Yeah? And now, are you guys attempting to brush her in any way yet? Yes, I started her front. Okay. So this is where we can teach her the word wait. So like, wait means for my horses means I'm going to move. So it's not ho, because usually ho, I stop with them. So wait is still, no longer move your feet after I say wait. Good girl, good girl. I usually, when I release them off of a wait, I say okay. So like, for example, opening gates, opening, you know, doing like if you took them out to the trailer, I would tell them to wait, but then I'm going to continue to actively move around. Good girl. She's like, I guess that, is that probably good enough or you want me to close this? I'll, I'll close it. I just want to get the cones.
The only disadvantage of them turning gray is that the white markings on their face, you won't be able to see them once they're fully white. You'll get to see them through the steel and through the dapple phase, but once they start turning flea bitten and then gray, gray, white, they, they, it just, you can't see it anymore. Like Logan, oh, yeah. you can tell that he had a blaze, but you can't see it now. Hi, sweetheart. I'd like to say hello to you. Nice to say hello to you. Yeah. Okay. So, you know what I want to do? Because we got to get her to where you can lead her. We're going to utilize the whole circumference here. And you're going to walk, hoe, and back up together. And I want to work on keeping her in, in a good position. So your hip and her shoulder equal, her head, her neck, everything about her eye, her nose, her mouth, her ear, you can see right here. If it's back here, not only is that potentially dangerous, it's not where you can see without turning to look at her. I don't want you to be looking back at her. I want you to use your peripheral vision to pay attention to her. So you're going to just be focused on where you're walking to. Um, if she falls behind, you're going to first lead forward, second kiss to encourage forward, third you're going to fling the line behind you. You're just going to kind of like, like you're going to, like you're trying to hit the fence with it, but you're just going to throw it. You're not going to smack her, you're just going to take the whole group of it and then just toss all of it behind and then you can reel it back in, but you're just going to like drop it all behind you. Yep, yep, perfect. Okay, so that's just to create energy behind her without hopefully upsetting her. But potentially it can and can potentially cause her to squirt through. So you're gonna be prepared to also wiggle because sometimes, especially if they go through a squirty, like a squeeze space, they may, in their reaction, kick on the way past you. So. I have a today. So. What we're going to work on with you, she's being so good, is your, your pattern. Your pattern is, okay? So when this foot hits the ground is your kiss, okay? Hand first is to warn her we're going. And then if you go to take your second step, okay? So this way we're telling her when when you see this i need you to plan to come with me now you must come with me oh now you have to yep yep so this way we're not because what, what happens is I, I allow people to be too patient and then we get a lot of gray so i want to make sure that i'm not helping you guys create gray oh. Oh, hurdle She's got a really pretty little head. Wow. And when your ears are up, they're even prettier. You're super, super cute. Okay, so then, so this is your body, right? You're slightly leaned forward. You're slightly like gonna get out of a chair. You're slightly, and this is what translates into the saddle, right? It's a slight lean forward, it means go. When you get ready to stop, you're gonna take, as this foot comes forward in your process of stopping, you're going to take a pivot and then hoe. So this is going to be her first clue. It's going to be that subtle. Yes. So, and, and cause I've had people exaggerate and I'm trying to just, I'm trying to learn as I go is how to best teach people stuff where I'm not creating a problem for people, especially with little ones. So this is your cue to stop. Hoe. If she hasn't responded to you uprighting yourself, then you're going to give her a wiggle on the line and, and say ho in kind of a bark. And that's a hard thing to teach people because everybody wants to just ho. Well, if you're in a dead run and your horse is freaking out, yeah. you're not going to be going ho. You're going to be going ho, ho, right? <laughs> we don't want the first time they hear you say that in a panic to be when you're in a panic. Right. Good girl. Okay. So. Then, ho. 
then what we're going to do is we're going to slightly lean our shoulders back again because we're going to rock back on our heels. So it's going to be a rock back, step, wiggle, and ask her to back up with you. So you're at your hoe, you're going to rock back. That's going to be her cue, step, wiggle. Okay? Okay. So I'm going to have you do it. Let's, let's do it where we're, we're set on where we do it first, and then I'm going to start throwing it out there random at you. That's gonna be one of your ho spots and your backup. You're gonna back up there as well. This will be one of your ho spots and back up there as well. Okay, and maybe I'll use the ball as a third cone. As a third marker. Yeah. I don't think we ever did any leading exercises with your other horses, right? So one of the most important things is don't squeeze her against the fence. It becomes really, really easy to get so hyper-focused on what we're doing that we forget that the horse needs space between the rail and, the, and us, that we end up start doing this. And it causes the horse to either you know fall behind or through because they, they're getting pinched. So it's really important to choose your path if, you know, like, I've always thought to do it with like lime, like giving people a path they actually can physically see themselves following, but try to just kind of keep like an elbow distance away from her. And then also pay attention to wanting her to have an el elbow distance away from that rail. So this, and you'll see, you'll, I'll be like, don't pinch her, don't pinch her. And it's common and it won't be rare for you to do it. Okay. Wherever you would like. It's okay. Yeah, and that's funny though, like we were gonna work on it as a specific exercise, yet it would apply there as well. Good. She's so pretty. I'm jealous. Oh yeah, it's going to be muscle memory and body language that you're going to have to learn, not just her. Good, and ho? Okay. Okay, so here, <laughs> here is where we're going to utilize our rhythmic driving energy to send her nose towards the railing. So here's where we're going to use our turn signal and say, hey, I need you to turn your nose that way. Yep, and then you're going to put your hand forward and kiss. So you want, if you if you kiss for her to go, and she's facing this way, she's gonna go across the front of you. So we wanna make sure that her nose is pointed in the way we want her to fly. Yep. Ask her to catch up. So we're gonna try to make her realize that there is an absolute sweet spot. There you go, perfect, right there. Ho. Oh. It's okay. So when we have a situation where they can spin out that much what we're gonna do is we're gonna we are gonna cause a little bit of a pinch so that she can't spin out which could still cause her to want to squirt through then because when she stops she's gonna be like oh I don't think I should be stopping and she's gonna try to come through so you're just gonna try to you'll say ho and then if she even does a half halt you're gonna touch her to let her know that was enough from future from further okay hi sweetie It'd be cool if you could do the over right now, right? Scratch her first and then step, scratch her butt though, because that's how you're going to get it to work. And then step away and see if she'll over to you. But say over, just give her the chance to. Nope, it's okay. She did it yesterday. Yeah. Good, nice. Good girl. Look at how light you can do that. So knowing that she can respond to it that lightly, we want to make sure that we never have to do it loudly. But we always get as loud as we have to for teaching, and then hopefully we refine it quite quickly. And in her case, she's already got it pretty good. Okay, so now you're going to get back in position to walk.
get her to catch up. Yep. Ho. Good. Rubber. Good. Now together, we're going to step back. So we're going to tell her to back up from beside her. Now remember, from beside her is not wiggle side to side. Wings in your hands. Yep, now tell her back. It makes your energy feel like a backward energy. It's okay. But we're still going to do it. We're going to still do it until she backs up. So stay with her until she backs up with you. One step back. Yep, stay with it. Stay with it. There you go. Good. Oh, oh, we're going to kick that ball. <laughs> oh, girl, you're okay. You're okay. Okay, so in that case, what I would have done, her hip to her shoulder, staying with her until we get that backup step. No matter where we keep going, my goal is to get that backup step. If you keep adjusting or try to get back in any of this extra movement, just put all that gray there. Didn't give her a chance of learning what you asked. So until she does what you ask her to do, I see. Hi. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. So you can use the cone as your marker. I'm gonna move it in because you were using your cone as your actual guide for where you should be, So, which is good, but I didn't plan it that way. So now, now you can stay, and this will give her a little bit less opportunity to spin out on her turn. Because you never teach hoe in the open because they don't create straightness in the open. So you always use a fence to teach a solid straight hoe. Let me get this shaving that's on her belly. Yeah, yeah. yeah just to, don't, I don't panic about them. It'll actually get worse. They can happen up to like three years old. But they usually happen in their yearling. Good. Give her a little rub for that. Good girl. It's okay, your body said stop. That's what we eventually want her to respond to. I want, when I walk with my horses, let's just say I keep seeing this like bottle cap here. If I'm walking with my horses and I'm like, my body stops. Like I expect my horses to always, always respect me like a mommy does their baby. I want them to always know where I am. Okay, good girl. No, start right there. Get her catch up. She has no way of knowing where she should be. There you go. There you go. There you go. Good. It's okay. It's okay. So we needed a lot of energy to go. So then she's like, okay, I'll go. And then it was hard for her to transition to a stop. Okay. So it's where we're just going to try to make sure that once we felt like she, if you felt like she picked up the, then don't throw again, because then you're going to over-energize her. Um, and then, unfortunately, it took us till we were two here to get her to respond and her back to a stop, which is fine. If you want to, if you find yourself in that situation, just keep going to the next one. But that, don't worry about it. You didn't do anything wrong. Um, in that case, I, th I think in that case, it was probably um, better to nurture that she responded properly to the go. <laughs> She's like, I'm tapping your hand. <laughs> yep, yep, so yep. Good, 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 good. Oh, good, rubber. It's okay that she spun out, just rubber. Now, scratch her butt and see if you can get her to over, without her going forward anymore. It's okay. So what I wanted you to do is I wanted to see if you could adjust her straightness by scratching her butt and seeing if she would over to you. Because like if my horses, if I'm walking with my horses and one of them spins out and, excuse me, and then they step back over and then we keep going straight. So I was just curious if we could add that now 
So if she spins out again, what I want you to do is I want you to just kind of reach over, scratch her butt, and see if you can over her to step towards you, and then step back up to go. Good girl. Those little things that probably be tickling you off with you, huh? Good. Good. And these turns, like you just did, and I, I didn't even have to tell you, is that she has to do more work. If you need her to turn around, she has to do a lot more walking than you do. You're just pivoting. She has to actually walk. So you did right, because you sent her around you. Right? We probably did some of those kinds of exercises already, maybe. Because that was very natural of you to do that, where a lot of times I have to, like, explain it. So it was good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and and the nice part is is that there'll come a point where it's literally you just just go like that, and they're like, okay, you know. And sometimes with her, for now, we may end up having to say, I suggest, I suggest. Now I'm telling you by touching her. But as long as it stays rhythmic and doesn't turn into a push, she'll learn that comes first, and she'll respond to that first. Like, but I keep touching your hand. Good. Ho. Oh. Good. This time. It's okay. Well, yeah, you were thinking it, and your body became very tentative. You were kind of like, okay, I'm going to stop in a second, right? So you, you kind of told her in advance what was going to happen. That's fine. I mean, because you told her in advance. So the trick is to, like, not overthink it so that way you can actually make it a specific moment. But it's okay that she's listening that well, right? Like there's a positive. Okay. Catch up. Catch up. Catch up. Catch up. Catch up. Good. Good. There you go. There you go. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Let her know she's okay. Good. I, I saw you get a moment of panic in yourself, too. You're like, she's going to kick me. <laughs> okay, so, so we're going to try to put our hand forward with the energy and then see if just the hand forward with the energy is all she needs the second round. Because what happened there was it was energy, 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 but you weren't saying forward. Good girl. <laughs> she just responded to what you said. Good girl. You're going to do energy, but then you're going to try to make sure it's incorporated with, I'm telling you to, to catch up, catch it. So this also, this means let's go. And it also means catch up, right? So, bring it back down. so yeah, so you're going to, when you're trying to walk, you're going to bring it back down and then you're going to be like, Hey, I need you to catch up. So when you first start off and she walks, she, and she responded properly, put your hand down, then say, but now I need you to catch up. If you can back up together. So you would straighten her nose. It's okay, she did take a step back, so we're gonna give it to her because she's at the fence now. Good. So in that case, she didn't actually get walked around you yet, so you could have stopped her from bending her nose around you. And that would have helped her stay straight. So that so when she bends her nose around you, just straighten her nose back out, and then still, and you can do that while you tell her to. Okay, is this supposed to be really hot today? Because it feels like it's planning on being. <laughs> nice. There, you used your turn signal. Don't leave with my camera! <laughs> I 
because you're working? Yep, but still lead forward. So lead forwards first, kiss, and then the energy. Good. So let me just give you a quick, I'm gonna show you real quick. So she's got a little pattern of running through here. Come on. Yeah. They don't want you to come to me, please. Nope. Nope. See, that was the right answer. That was the right answer. I know, right? I know, that was tough. Nope, nope. Good. Good. You're okay. You're okay. Nope, forward. Great answer. Yeah. That's the right answer. You're right. You have the right answer. Nope, 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 nope. Wrong answer. Wrong answer. There's the right answer. That's the right answer. Nope, wrong answer. Right answer. Good. You're okay. Good. working for you? What didn't make me do this? What was working for you? Nope. What worked? What worked? Nope. What worked? Yep, that worked. That worked. That worked out good, right? There you go. Uh-uh. 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 Uh-uh.
Yes. That's right. That's right. That's right. Did you see it connect that finally? That was good. Yes. That was right. So that should be easier for her now because it connected. Good. Good. Yes. 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 Good. Good. So she has a habit of running right through here, so we're just going to make sure that we can fix that there. Good. Good. And ho, 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 ho. Good. 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 Okay. Ready? Good. It's okay. It's okay. Good. You got this. You got this. Yep. Nope. Yep. Nope. Yep. Good. Nope. 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 Good. Good. Nope. 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 Wrong way. Good. You got this. Good. Nope, 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 nope. Wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Good, you got this. You got this. Nope, 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 nope. Wrong way. Good. Work your way through there. Work your way through there. No, uh, 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 uh. Nope, you gotta get through there. Go through there. Just got a little block there. Nope, nope, nope. There you go. There you go. Good. Good. There you go. There you go. Good, 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 good. I'm gonna let you off the hook. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. You did good. You did good. You did good. Well, that's why I'm staying away from her right now. There's a big sigh. Good. So let me help her one more time through that path. The reason I took her from you was only because she was getting so emotional here that I knew she was gonna take it up a notch. I didn't want to see you get kicked because she went past. Past this block. Good. Nope. 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 Yep. Good. Yep. Yes. There you go. There you go. Woo! Fire on her feet. Okay, let's do it again. I didn't tell her to stop or anything, so she's not wrong for any of that. Good. Good. That's right. You got this now. That's right. So poop. All right, I'll let you do that. Oh. Made you nervous, huh? Whew. Nerves. Okay. Excellent. Good. 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 So I'm going to try to hoe her here now. Ho, ho, ho. Because I knew I'd have a hard time. Good. Ho. Where can I help you? Where can I help you? Right there? Okay. Good girl. Good girl. See, I didn't even need to kiss. I just needed to show her my hand forward, and that was enough this time. So the idea is we're going to try to take away all those extra support things. So I'm asking her to catch up right now. Here she's going to get a little emotional because this is where she gets locked up. Good. And then she frees herself right about here. So then you're just going to work with her as she frees herself up. Ho. Oh. Go ahead. Can I scratch you too hard? 
Am I scratching you too hard? Is this good or not? Okay. Good. See, that was nice. Right? It didn't require the extra, the extra support. You see, she even picked up the pace to the hand forward. So that's kind of what you want. You want that to be so here's where she gets a little locked up. Ask her to catch up. Yep, same, same thing. There we go. Good. Ask her to catch up. Good. Ask her to catch up. Good. Good. Ho. Oh. So let's see how easy it is to get her to go. Right? And she stayed where she should be. Ho. Oh. Good. So I took her from you because I didn't want her to get too emotional and have you end up in a situation that scares you or... So, we're going to try now to see if hand forward and kiss is all we need. This is where she gets a little blocked up with me. She's not necessarily blocked up with you. So, ask her to catch up. There you go. She needs to be even further up her. She's very distracted by a fly on her front leg, but good. Good, she's caught up. Leave her alone now. Put your hand down. Good, so putting your hand down to let her know she made it to the right spot is important. Go ahead and ask her to catch up again. Good. The bugs are driving her crazy. Ask her to catch up. Don't pinch her against the wall. Yep, ask her to catch up. There you go. There. There you go. Yep, ask her to catch up. So if you have to look back, she's too far behind you. There you go. There you go. Ask her to catch up. I do want her even a little bit further ahead, but for today, because she did have that desire to squirt through in, in her confusion, we're going to go ahead and let her be right there. But that's as long as you can glance over in your peripheral vision and see her eye in the right spot for right now. So if you can't, then encourage her to get there. There. Good. And ho. Good. Give her a rub. So I don't know what time it is, but we're going to do either do something different or, yeah, we're either going to do something different or we're going to quit there only because that, that brought up a lot of emotion in her. And I don't want to overstimulate her and have it be like a torture. So we have technically 12 minutes left, so it's up to you how you want to do that. We don't have to use it. Yeah, and the bugs are starting to bother and she's starting to sweat, so they're going to get even worse. You did good. Yeah. So you, till the next time we're together, can practice that in this direction. If you feel like you're gaining some confidence and some language with her, then I would try the other direction. Do not try the other direction until you feel you're good with this direction. Okay? No, and, and if you if you're like, hey, this is easy, hey, this is easy, and you're like, all right, let me just give it a try, and it may the information may transfer very easily for her, or it may be even harder for you because it's on the offside for you. fly spray maybe we could do that we'll torture her with fly spray for a second okay yeah i'm like i'm going like i know where it is right <laughs> you're a good girl you're a good girl you're a good girl yeah, you are you i like how at the end she kind of puts her nose her nose on i'm sorry you're a good girl <laughs> How would I do? Can you acknowledge me, please? The way she's just laying her nose on my hand. Yeah. You want to go in the shade? Come here, I'll go in the shade. Come here. Oh, 
does that feel better? Huh? Does that feel better? Whew. It's hot, huh? It's hot. No? You want some more else? Where? Thank you for touching. You want some more else? Right there? Yeah? Okay. No? What are you doing? No? Huh? Behind your ears, itchy too? Huh? No, not right there. How about you take your phone a little bit? No? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're a nice girl. You've got to be so nice. You're such a nice girl. Yeah. I'm going to try to help you with the bugs. I can't promise you. Some bugs, bugs are resistant to bug spray, but we're going to try. You're a nice girl? Yeah. Uh-uh, 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 don't do that. What is that? Okay, okay. Good girl. Look. It's a crazy thing. What did it just do to you? Hmm? Crazy stuff, huh? Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, look at it again. We're downwind. It's coming right back in your face. Look. Good girl. Okay. Okay. Good girl. You are so crazy. You're so crazy. Hmm. Check that out, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to try to get on your back legs just so that we can make sure that you're not having to stomp quite as much, okay? Good job. So I wouldn't even try to do anything else just because that was, that was good. so good. She's just, you know, she's just really it's nice when you get them really young because yeah. what somebody, you know, like when you get like a two-year-old and nobody messes with them at all and then you try to do all this stuff, now you have a strong horse that's afraid. You did such a good job. Mm. Hey, the bug's a little less annoying, huh? It's like, oh, and that cool new feeding. Yeah, she was actually scratching behind her ear. She liked it. Yeah. Yeah. Because they don't know to be offended by anything yet. Yeah. She do a bite. Yeah. Right. Got a little too rude. Back. 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 Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. So like if she ever 
go snip at you you know you're, you'll say hey that's unacceptable